Hello all, welcome back students. So in the previous video, we started with the operations on a tuple. We discussed the first two operations that is slicing and concatenation. Let us uh, complete up uh, the remaining two operations uh, of, tu of uh, tuple that is repetition and count. Okay, fairly simple. Whenever we want to make use of repetition, we will uh, make use of star. And why I am telling that these things are easier because already we had discussed the same in the list chapter. Correct. So let us, uh, you can say, have a look on what and how we will perform repetition. Suppose, uh, uh, suppose uh, we will take a tuple K and uh, let us have some elements 1, 2, 3, let us say A and B. Okay, to be very simplistic. If I just print K into 2, we will see that the elements will be printed twice and in the same order. Nothing to be discussed about that. That is what we call repetition. And do not uh, think that into 2 means 1 into 2, 2 will be printed, 2 into 2, 4 will be printed, 3 into 2, 6 will, uh, 3 into 2, 6 will be printed, A into A, A double A will be printed. It will, it is not something like that. All the elements of the tuple will be repeated twice if the repetition element is like that. And if I suppose enter the repetition number as 5, you will see that all the elements will be repeated 5 number of times. So nothing more or nothing much to discuss from my side in case of repetition now let us have a you can say revision syntax about count count is used to you can say count occurrences of any given element from the tuple from the tuple if it exists if it exists means if the element actually exists okay syntax is just like the list one tuple name tuple name dot count and inside the argument we will have the element which i want to search for or which i want the count to be coming on okay let us uh, take a small example then we will write a small program where which uh, does all the things in a more proper and genuine manner let us take a tuple. Suppose I want a tuple, say 99, 1, 2, 3, 99, 2, 3, 99, 1, 2, 3, 98, 3, 2, 1. Okay, some tuple. And I want to search the occurrences of 99. So, very simple. I will do print t dot tuple name dot count. And I will provide the element 99. And as you will, as you can see, number of occurrences of 99 will come. Okay. Let's try the occurrences of 1. Occurrences of 1 are again 3. I don't know what is the case. Let us try to increase the occurrence of 1. So I hope there is some change. Now occurrence of 1 will be 4. So working perfectly. Now what if we enter some element which is not there? Will it give an error or not? Definitely it will not give an error. That element is not present. So count will be simply 0. Okay students. So count will be simply 0. Now, now that we have learned about uh, how to use repetition and count. Let us uh, design a very small program. Uh, so that practice of whatever content we have seen in tuple is uh, done for now. Okay. So I will just convert this into a small program that write a program to ask user number of elements elements to be entered in a tuple correct display that tuple again ask user to uh, enter a element and uh, display its count correct so this is a you can say nice program which will revise most of our concepts till now what we have studied in this week okay so write a program to ask user number of elements to be entered a tuple, entered into the tuple so first of all i will create a blank tuple suppose that is t and i am asking the user to enter the number of elements he would like in the tuple say enter number of tuple elements done now i will execute the loop in that way for i in range 0 comma length of tuple correct 
remember there is no append method here and i will ask the user for the element let us say input enter element okay or enter number whatever you want uh, there is no direct method like append but the method we finalized is t equal to t plus t comma reasons for this already discussed in the previous videos and uh, once things are done and dusted i will print the tuple properly that is t done enter number of elements let us say six Achha, tuple is printed i think there is some error from my side mm, why tuple was printed let me see let me see again okay it is printing the tuple so maybe it is not going in uh, in the loop Achha, very sorry very sorry very sorry my huge mistake okay it is not length of t it is n okay length of t will be there when we access very sorry okay i hope you understood here i was entering length of t Ab initially t is blank only now why to enter that i want the number the number of times a loop to be executed uh, which user enters suppose user enters five the u loop should be executed five times so in a hurry i was accessing the elements of the tuple by mistake i wrote length of t that is used for accessing the elements okay five let us say 45 43 1 2 and 3 and you can see that tuple elements are entered properly part one of the program done now uh, we want uh, again the user to ask for an element and if that element is present, the count should be printed. Fine. So I will uh, take up an element and h equal to input. Uh, enter element whose count is required. Correct. And simply I will print just for simplicity sake. Simply I will print. Uh, print. Uh, let us say count of whatever element the user chooses that I will write here count of h is okay I will write that statement what was that statement tuple name dot count and element okay and I am pretty hopeful that this will work let us enter some elements in the tuple 98 97 96 95 94 93 okay now enter the element whose count is required and by mistake or by intentional i have not repeated element any elements so no problem with that 96 count is one okay but 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 uh what if what if suppose i enter five elements let us say one two 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 five let us check whether these things are working yeah things are working but what if, what if, uh, suppose five elements, one, two, three, four, five. What if I enter element which is not there? I do not want my program to display zero. Yeah. Although it is correct. Although it is correct, there is no problem. But I do not want my program to display zero. If element is not present, I want my program to display okay, that element is not there in the tuple. Okay. Although there is nothing wrong if the count coming zero, but I want proper, proper things to be done. So, I will use the membership operator. If, uh, suppose, uh, H, H is the element which is asked from the user. Okay. If H in T. Okay. If the element that is requested by the user is there in tuple, then only I will give the count. Else, I will print a message that print uh, H is not available in the tuple okay this would be i think a more generalized approach for the same let me check both the concerns one two three 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 i want count of three i think this is working now let us say again choose for a false option one two three four five six and i want count of nine so my program is working perfect that nine is not available in the tuple okay fine so i think you had a very good uh, overview of the things that we discussed till now in this chapter with the help of this program okay 
so in this week's assignment we will be given small small codes or small small programs based on things we have discussed in this chapter till now please go through all the videos before going into the assignment that would be all from my side for this week thank you and have a nice